We're here in Branson, Missouri. I'm going to show you guys the difference between the cheapest versus the most expensive course. We're going to compare the two. We're here at the cheapest round we could find in Branson. It was about $60. We're going to go check it out and see what 60 bucks gets us. All right, let's head into the pro shop and see what we're working with. Nothing too crazy here. Pretty average selection of shoes, clothes, all that stuff. Uh, another thing I like to do is check out the bathrooms when I'm going in the course. Uh, these bathrooms here were pretty nice, pretty clean. Um, pretty much anything anything you can want out of a, uh, a golf shop bathroom. They also had like a little sitting area. There's, there was a hotel a attached to the course as well. There was also a bar and grill attached to the clubhouse. Pretty nice. Let's go check out the practice facilities. The practice facility is basically just like a putting green. It's actually a pretty nice putting green. I don't know if there's a range here though. All the houses are just like so close together. They're so like jammed in here. Putting green, nice, but no range. We are heading over to the most expensive course in Branton, which is Payne's Valley, a Tiger Woods design course. Let's go check out the clubhouse. Uh, first things first, when you walk in the clubhouse, an extensive selection of clothing, probably one of the largest collections of shoes that I've seen inside a clubhouse. They pretty much had everything. Uh, we're going to head downstairs and go into where uh, the, the locker rooms are. There's a little seating area. Once you head into the locker room, they hit you with Tom Watson, Gary Player, Arnold Palmer, Jack Nicholas, Lee Trevino, all their lockers. Uh, there's another little sitting area in the locker room, and then you head straight into the showers. They've got fully stocked showers with towels, better believe I use that after the round. Uh, they got disposable toothbrushes for you, disposable razors, uh, they got sunscreen for you, and then they got some stuff for your hair as well. Let's go check out the practice facility. Heading to the practice facility right now. I mean, just a expansive practice facility. Now, shipping area, putting green. Pretty like expansive range set up here. Probably one of like the, the best looking ranges I've, I've seen. Just, they got golf balls just as many as you want ready for you. They got a clock there so you know what time it is. Towels at the ready just in case you sweat here. It's nice and cool though, so I probably won't be sweating. It's hanging out on the range there. Mr. Guy comes up, asks us if we got ice on the thing, fills us up. Uh, everybody's just looking to take a little bit better care of it. Come on. <laughs> probably the most like scenic practice green I've been on. Just pristine, go in. Oh, there's like three different practice screens. There's like a whole, whole like 18 hole putting course that kind of wraps around. Pro shop in the background, it looks like a log cabin in Montana or something. Like, I mean, it does not get any better than this. It does not. You got the little like par three course over here. So after you're done playing Payne's Valley, maybe you want to take a little spin on the par three course, something like the most beautiful par three course I've ever seen. We haven't even gotten to the course yet and it's already just been like such a sick experience. Even the like flags on the putting green, a lot of attention to detail here. I mean, it's just, that's, yeah, those are just really nice. Just those types of things, it's like, you can really feel it. It's like an elevated place. The normal rate I think is around like $65 to play like a full 18. And it also like the rates fluctuate depending on the season. So, but first hole looking pretty good. It's like a par four. 398 yards, it's far away. We got a lot of houses around us. We're definitely like in the thick of a Branton neighborhood here. I think that's good. Guy in the pro shop was very nice young kid, super helpful, answered all my questions. I guess I'm, I'm like kind of late in the day, so they were like shutting down and carts like weren't necessarily available and he was the only one working in there. So he was like, well, there's no carts out there. He's like, so I would have to leave my post here to go like clean a cart for you to bring it out. And if somebody comes in, then it's, and I was like, dude, don't worry about it. I'll just walk. But 115 yards, little 56 in hand. Conditions, great so far, honestly. It looks like a pretty nice course. And that's gonna be a little bit right. Yeah, a lot bit right and short. Conditions may be getting a little bit worse here as we get closer to the green. Got some crabgrass. No big deal. You're paying 60 bucks to, that's not gonna be good. Probably shouldn't be like talking in my backswing, but. Ooh, all right. Greens, not pristine, but in good shape. Oh, we gotta grab some teas, a little ball marker. Oh my gosh. This is nuts. This is so cool. Starter up there, and now there's another like guy waiting for us down here. He's cool. Uh, restrooms are at 8, 10, 15, and 19, and then there's water coolers on 4, 12, and 15. Cool. Okay, right. Yeah, not a bad Normally, call. Normally, I'd say aim for the bunkers on the left side. Okay. It gives you your best angle of the pin. Cool. It's a long walk, man. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, 450 yard par four to start her out. Maybe 
you hang out on me a little bit? Never, you never feel like you don't know what's going on. Like every step of the way, there's a person telling you like exactly what to expect. You don't feel like you have to do anything other than just like enjoy it and, and play golf. All right, pretty good spot off the first tee. Maybe a little bit left, but he said it's gonna be a good angle into the hole. I mean, couldn't have better weather as well. Like this is so sick. I mean, look at the, look at the grass. It's just so perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Just, I feel like I'm gonna run out of words to like describe this course. This is cool. I'm, I'm very excited right now. This is awesome. We got like 144 yards to the pin. Maybe just COG. Okay, maybe a little short, probably take it on long putt here. Definitely not where you want to be on this green. We're gonna get every inch of this course today. I think that might be pretty good speed actually. Keep going. Okay. I'm okay with that. Greens are pure. Ah, I knew that went a little more right. Bogey to start her out, but ain't even mad. Not a whole lot can go wrong here today. There's some bathrooms on the course, which is nice. That's a, that's a great amenity. Got yourself a little vending machine. That's $1.50 for some Pepsi, some Mountain Dew. And then check out the bathrooms. Okay, not terrible. There's like, I'm sweating like crazy. So I'm gonna grab some paper towels. Bang, not every course has this. That's actually pretty nice. Now uh, water fountain, that does not work, so. So you're gonna need to use the soda machine if you want anything to drink. At least they got bathrooms on the course, that's pretty nice. Okay, little on-course bathroom re review. It's all about the little thing, it's got the men's. He's got a golf club in his hand, love that. Oh, it's got AC in here, kind of log cabin vibes. This is cool, this is nice. The on-course bathroom, this is really, really nice. The massive cooler here, just filled with water, it's filled to the brim. Right on the course, just totally free for you. Ah. It's left. Just a little chip. Yeah, that was exactly what I wanted to do. Just rolled out a little bit too much. Okay, par. This is pretty similar to like every course I play, uh, whether in like my hometown of Lancaster, Pennsylvania, or honestly in Dallas, a lot of courses like this in neighborhoods. Probably a lot of you guys would feel right at home here. We got like 220 yard par three, car three here, second hole. We're gonna go two hybrid. Long second hole here. Maybe be the number. Maybe be the number. I think it might have gone a little long, to be honest. I think too high was maybe a little much. I thought that wind, I mean, I hit that really good. Okay, we are a little bit long in the bunker. Go. Okay, a little too much sand. Give it to me. Give it to me. Maybe break left. Ah, this is the speed. 220 yard. Par three, I'm okay, I'm okay with the bogey there. I feel like there's gonna be plenty of holes to, to get that back. A little par four, so I think it's like 400 yards. We got like 170 to the center of the green. A little thin, but I think that's gonna work really well. Short, way short. Definitely like at this course you're very closed in. A lot of houses. OB comes up on you very quick. In the hole. Your greens, baby. Come on. Nutty. Come on. Because the views just don't stop. A little short par four here, 300 yard drive piece, plenty of room to hit driver on this course. So the fairways are big. Get on that right side. I think that's gonna be perfect. Right where we wanted it, come on. Maybe a little birdie off here on the third hole. Also, just in case you didn't bring like your range finder or anything, it is carpet only today, but this guy has all the technology you can want. Your yardages, it gives you like slope of the green, kind of gives you where you should hit the ball on the course. Uh, it's got like a little forecast. So you can see the weather. Uh, you can see what it's looking like today. It's got music. All right, a little 60 degree in hand. Yeah, roll out for me. Yeah, yeah, there we go. I saw that heat map on the on my cart, little technology, knew where that green was going. Here we go, first birdie op of the day. Bang, <laughs> that feels good. Shout out to the lab putter, always. 
Always throw a little nod to the Lab Golf Putter. So Josh Mayer 10 for 10% off. If you're looking into it, if you want to check out the old technology, keep saying it, but it just like does not get better than this. Smile on my face. I can't wipe the smile off my face right now. It is hot, man. I'm sweating quite a bit. Hole number four, 375 yards. A little uphill piece. Kind of a good looking hole. Okay, a little cut. Hit into that hill. Yeah, I think we're fine. Oh, hey, I think we're on. I, you know, I hate to like just point out all the bad things about the course, but you know, stuff like this, maybe a little something you wouldn't see at a more expensive course, but a little Texas wedge. Hit it. Oh. Oh baby, the lab's hot. I'll tell you what, putting has really improved since switching to the lab. This is the kind of stuff you're gonna get probably with a lower budget course, you know, maintenance is just kind of wide open and a little overgrown. Doesn't look, doesn't look the best, but to be expected. The little things like aren't necessarily that important at a course like this. Fantastic water features though. Maintenance here, totally separate. There's like a separate car path goes down. You don't even see it. Like Disney, Disney kind of has like a whole underground like tunnel system for all the trash. Never see any trash at Disney. Never see any maintenance here at Big Cedar Paint Valley. How about that little water feature, just full blown waterfall. This is a great view here. Kind of cool. Uh, holds like 320 yards. Be a little further right than we'd like it to be. Not in a great spot, but not in the worst spot by any means. Oh, my Atlanta hit a root or something. Or it just suck. Spin for him, spin for him, spin for him. Otter's feeling good though. Ooh, nope, never mind. Oh man, I don't even know what that is. Like a double bogey. This course is like designed by Tiger Woods, or like his design company. Uh, so they got obviously the tiger tees here. We elected not to play in today. I'm, I'm just going blues, you know, know your, know your abilities. But that logo there, I feel like just carries so much weight. Uh, we got hole number four here, par five, like 520 yards. Oh, I don't know how far that bunker is there. This is standard on some carts, but you know, in the nicer courses typically have it. We got a little club. Little club washer on there, a little ball washer right on the cart. You don't got a other side here. Come on, let's show you the cart. Got a little cooler filled with ice. Shout out to the guy who came around and filled it with ice and some water in there. That is halfway house. It literally looks like a log cabin that sleeps like 30 people, but that is literally just the halfway house. They got like tons of like free snacks in there, exclusive merchandise. Coming, that's coming after after hole nine. So we got like 202 yards, wind's kind of at our, back, our back. We're gonna go five iron, just get kind of get it over the water, take that out of play, hopefully. Ah, oh, thinned it. Get over. We'll stay short. Oh, uh, we did end up going in the water, so we're dropping here. Hitting four. Big bounce. Way short, it's kinda got snagged. We get speed, just a little too far, right? A little bogey save here would be nice. Dang, a little bug monster save? I'm okay with that. 300 and 30 yard hole here. Just chunky and it's gonna work out, just didn't really go anywhere. 161, we're going eight iron. Could be right on the money. Birdie. Keep going, get legs. Guess it's been hours. Three holes left. We are three over. Number five here, we got a little par three, car three, a little peninsula green. Oh, she's tracking. Be the number, please. Yeah, baby. Ooh, bridge here too. Oh, <laughs> nice and smooth. How do we feel about the like flower pattern 
throwback polo today. I feel like this may be my new favorite polo. This one's called Tropicamo. Great name. If you're looking to get yourself a little robe easy, click that link below, get yourself a little 15% off throwback. Uphill, right to the left. Ah, real short. Bang. Something else to be noted, this sign has been pretty much on like every three holes. Just lets you know your pace of play, I guess, which is nice. Uh, but what that kind of tells me is that maybe the course is a little bit overcrowded. They back tee times up against each other a little too much. And so people are probably complaining a lot about slow play. So they put these out here to remind people. You gotta be aware of that. Like on a busy day, there's gonna be jam packed, a lot of tee times, slow things up, clog things up. Uh, part four uphill, a little tough to see. Two hybrids, a tight, tight hole as well. I have no idea. You can see the sun, but I think it's pretty straight. Felt good off the face. All right, I think I lied. This is a par five, actually. I think that went straight. I don't know. What? I didn't see it land. I don't know. I didn't see it because of the sun. Felt like I struck it well, but it's hot and there's no escape in it. No real like AC on the course anywhere. No like buildings to walk into and escape the heat. Just hot, no like buckets filled with ice and water to douse all over you, maybe dip a towel in to cool you down. Go. Greens are like sneaky quick. Oh bang. I mean, we are quite literally like in the middle of nowhere, no houses in sight there. It's just vast, wide open land. So expansive, fairways are so big. There's just so much land, there's so much room. If you're thinking about taking like a buddy's trip somewhere, or you're looking for uh, a cool place to go, I would 100% check out uh, Big Cedar. We played Ozarks National yesterday, we played Mountaintop the day before that, uh, and every single course has been absolutely awesome. Like 150 yards to the pin. Catch piece. Yeah. A little right to left, kind of like downhill. Maybe, maybe a little bird. Ooh, back to back pars, let's keep it rolling, baby. I think we're still like two over so far. Well, par three, car three, downhill here, 170 yards, I got seven iron in hand. Be the, the perfect number. Maybe just go in the hole. See if we can have ourselves a little bird maestra. A little slinger here. Sling in. Ooh, hang out. Okay. Ooh, bang. A little 350 yard par four uphill. Uh, a little right. There's like a car path over there. I think we're safe, but we got about 97 yards to the pin. Pick. That might be a little long. Pin high, and there you a little bit, a little bit too far right, but. Oh, maybe. Oh, maybe. Keep going. Ah, par train is rolling, baby. Ah, here we go, baby. Okay, so here it is. This is like the, the halfway house. I mean, it looks like a full blown pro shop here, like bigger than most pro shops. So we're gonna go check it out. Halfway house experience, unreal. You walk in, they got full bar, full like stock free snacks, drinks, complimentary bison burger. They just literally give you a hot dog when you go in there or a bison dog, I guess. Exclusive merch. It's literally like lo the logo is you can only get it at the halfway house. So like you can only get it if you've actually played the course. You can't get that in the pro shop just walking in there. They've got bathrooms with SPF in there. You can buy putter while you're in there. It's basically just like a full pro shop. Last hole here. So this is, this is hole number nine. This is what we're gonna finish over the water. It's a blind shot, kind of fun shot. That should be quite all right. Little Tay House wedge here, got a long putt. Come on, Labby. Ooh, the Lab baby spin it. Here we go, a little par four. Hardest hole in the course, 405 yards. Stay out of those buttons. Salt bounce, it's a good sign. Um, all right, we got about 98 yards. In a pretty good spot here. We'd love to end this on a birdie. OK, 
cap. Maybe rolled off the back, probably a little too much juice. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and putt this so we can get it close. Ooh, I like that speed a lot. Yeah. Bang. So after you're done with your round at Payne's Valley, you hop in your cart uh, and you go on this little like off-roading trail that goes up the, the rock face and uh, it's leading you to the 19th hole. So you get a little extra golf. Uh, the scenes are absolutely beautiful. Uh, and then you make it to the 19th hole, which is just like a little extra hole-in-one challenge. Just inform that if you make a hole-in-one, you actually get a thousand bucks and then you get like a membership to the course, which you get like perks and stuff. Check it out now, Tiger Tees. Give him a peep. We're gonna see what our exact distance is. 118 with the wind's blowing pretty good. I think we're gonna go, I think a pitching wedge is gonna do it. I think it's gonna get it there. Oh no, not a shot. Thinned it over the green. Too much pressure. Oh, it was way long. Played a $60 course here in Branson. We paid a $460 course. Uh, up to you guys to decide what you think is worth it, what's not, what maybe fits your budget better or fits your vacation better or whatever. Huge shout out to Big Cedar for having us out here. Probably one of the coolest courses I've ever played. Huge shout out to you guys. Thanks for watching this video. Hit that subscribe button. Love you guys. We'll see you next time.